but you can see she's not doing great um, and I am really scared that something's gonna happen oh no way ah there they are <gasps> They're loose, so loose. Muga, why? Girlfriend, you wait a few days on me. Guys, there are gonna be new babies coming. Oh, no ligaments. Oh. You just want hugs? Okay. Can I have a hug? Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today is March 1st. And it's the beginning of kidding season. I go this morning, I check everyone, and the ones that are completely gone is um, Gaia's. And Gaia is a first freshener. But I don't see much dropping, to be honest with you. Maybe just a little bit. But I don't know. Uh, Briere is very interested in her sister. I actually was thinking maybe I should put Briere with her. And I was thinking to put Briere with her because they comfort each other. They really do. Let's follow Gaia and see what she wants to do. Even if it was Clara, I would have been worried anyways. In my experience, goats rarely, at least in my herd, go on their kidding date they usually go either a day later and I think typically it's like three days later so I just I just knew that today was gonna be my appointment I knew it was March 1st I knew it was the due date for Gaia and for Clara but I just can't say no to this appointment that was supposed to happen at the beginning of February and then it was pushed to March and when they confirmed my appointment yesterday I was ecstatic because those ligaments were there and they were strong so that should tell you how it changes from you know the night till the morning I mean a lot of things can happen I'll show you how she looks right now my hope is that she won't go into labor until later tonight um, you're gonna have your babies today Gaia? can we wait? until tonight maybe yeah not too late though or too early let me go do, I have to go do something I have a doctor appointment I promise I'll be back and then I'll help you with your kids okay, okay. my appointment at 1 p.m. we're gonna leave here by 11 so we have a couple of hours to get there we're gonna get our appointment done hopefully it won't be more than 30 minutes who knows um, and then we're gonna go to Lowe's pick up the roofing that we need for the extension of the barn because this is gonna get rolling starting it's today looking. Just gonna go a window over there still not framed And There is going to be a another window over here then we're gonna come straight home. We're gonna try to hurry and if I am looking at the camera and things look like they have progressed, we're probably gonna come through the route that I don't want over the mountain. We might do that. Uh, right now, as I'm looking out the window, she's eating hay with her sister and she doesn't look like she's in pain or having contractions or anything like that, so that's fun. <laughs> This is, this is my puppy grandchild. She really thinks that she's human. And um, yeah, she's gonna go with us, so. Oh, yes, I love you. You just want hugs? Okay. Gaia, please don't have children before I come back. Okay, mommy, you're gonna be okay. Grandma's here too cheer you on this uh, adventure oh, no ligaments oh. <laughs> I 
I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home friends, Gaia didn't wait for me and ended up having her babies at around 4 p.m. yesterday and I am happy to report that everyone is alive but there something happened and that's why I'm kind of in my kitchen area with Gaia and her babies. Now they're gonna go outside today but I want to explain a little bit of what happened yesterday and why I thought it'd be better for her to stay in here and why I think that after not even 24 hours, it's safe for her to be outside. So as I mentioned, Gaia didn't wait for me and she ended up having her babies when I was a couple of hours away from home. Um, there are two ways, as I mentioned in this video, there's a faster way and there's a longer way to get to where we live. And when we left, we took the long way. And when we came back, the roads were so clean and everything was so perfect that we decided to come through the short way. And to our surprise, we got to the top of the mountain and there were like four feet of snow, I'm not kidding you, on the road like nobody has gone through it and we as we were getting closer we're like well this is probably even more because i mean it was covering the truck and this is a a big truck so we decided to turn around but that meant we had to go down the same mountain and even though it was clean there was so much ice that we had to come down in a four by with a four by four on because it was impossible otherwise i have like really bad and i'm not kidding um ptsd from uh something that happened while i was living in utah my, one of the I was going to work and and the van that I was driving as I was turning uh, decided to kind of slide like this almost hitting a bus stop full of people and since then I not only don't like the snow I don't like I won't drive in the snow unless I'm stuck and I need to get out and 
every time somebody else is driving through the snow, I get the worst um, nausea, nausea and I get dizzy and I get full-blown panic attacks. And that's what happened to me yesterday. And I, so I was having this panic attack and I'm not exaggerating, I'm telling you what happened. Um, <laughs> my husband was like, you need to relax. And I'm like, are you seriously saying that to me? Do you think I like this? Um, and as I was, as I was having that full blown panic attack, my oldest son um, that got home says, Gaia is pushing babies out. And I thought to myself, well, of course she is. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. The signal is gonna disappear at any second. We're going down this steep mountain full of ice in four by four. I need to close my eyes because otherwise I'm gonna keep throwing up. And <laughs> you know, it was it was like of course Gaia was gonna have her babies right the second and I'm gonna have to walk you through what you have to do. So I told my son where the kidding supplies were, which I showed you under that little couch um, seating area. And I told him, just go and make sure they're breathing and make sure they're dry and make sure they have milk, colostrum. But asking this to that one son is a lot because of his, he has hyper, his senses are like more intense. So he can smell things way stronger than we can. So even like a vanilla smell scent will make him sick. Um, like he can't really touch things that are like different textures. He can't eat things that are certain texture. Um, he can hear more than I can. I mean, his senses are hyper, I don't know, there's something with them, but I know why he has all that. So I knew that asking him to go in the barn and get this slippery, bloody, smelly to him, because they do smell. I mean, it smells like something. It doesn't bother me, but for him, it's so uh, more, much more intense that it makes him sick. Um, so I was asking that one son of mine who cannot touch slippery things, who cannot eat a bean because of its texture and who, you know, had to wear headphones because there's so much noise around him that distracts him. I was asking him to basically ignore all that and take care of this mom, first time mom with babies and hoping and praying that she didn't have a malpositioned kid she couldn't push on, out on her own. By four o'clock, my youngest son should have been here. It was 4.10, he wasn't here. I was texting him, sending him all these SOS messages saying, get to the barn, go see Gaia, make sure they're dry. Put them in the teat, make sure they're drinking, make sure, you know, there's colostrum coming out of the teat and I'll be home and I'll take care of the rest. I just need them to be dry, not be cold, and to drink colostrum. Eventually he texts me, but by then I, te I texted my friend, I'm like, please, just can you please go and stay with my boys and help them be like moral support or something. I know my friend doesn't know anything about goats or birds or stuff like that, but I knew that she was going to be an encouragement to them and that she was going to cheer them on and she was going to make them feel at ease since she was here and they weren't alone. Uh, because eventually my youngest son came. My youngest has been on births before. Not that, you know, he was curious uh, and not that he loves to be there because, you know, he's too interested. It's just part of normal uh, life right now. So he jumped in, he stayed with the kids. He took a heater, put the heater by the kids, um, take care of, took care of Gaia, gave her grain. Then we get out down the mountain. We have to go around. So we had to take the long way again to try to get home. And at that point, my son, my, my other son calls me and says, mom, she's kicking them off and I cannot put her 
and put the babies on her teeth and I thought great that's exactly what I did not need that she's rejecting these kids so I told my my other son just make sure you mix some colostrum you have to mix it right you can't put extra or less because you can really mess the babies up if you don't have the proper measurement so I kind of scared them, scared him with that, and then he um, mixed that and took a bottle to the babies to try to help. By then, Gaia was, if, if my friend was holding her and my son was putting the babies on the teeth, she was just, uh, basically, she had to stay for the babies. And So uh, then, she was in shock, and um, she her temperature dropped, she started shaking, she had part of her placenta coming out, but you know how usually it's a bubble that it's the weight that needs to pull the placenta. Well, that bubble burst, like, I don't know what happened. The bubble was there, but nothing happened. And, um, but it kind of, I don't know. I don't know how it, it broke and then the placenta was still inside. So it took her a really long time to expel the placenta. I was bumping her, making sure she didn't, um, you know that she didn't have anything inside but she wasn't chewing the cud she was making that bucky 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 sound um and she was all over the place really she wanted the babies but she didn't want the babies she wanted she, she kind of pointed them to the teeth but then when they were trying to drink uh she would just walk away from them it was just so stressful i don't know how to explain it but gaia was not doing great the babies, um, their mouths were not warm enough. So I brought them inside. I checked their temperature. They were kind of borderline low. So I used a hair dryer. My husband helped me with the hair dryer. In the meantime, I was putting colostrum. I milked a little bit of colostrum out of Gaia. Gaia was in the barn screaming her head off for her kids that were in here warming up. I was trying to set this up in here so I could bring her in and she could see her kids that they were okay that they were right there but at that point you know everything was kind of crazy because you know you're trying to find all the things like I was trying to get some uh, cardboard underneath so it would absorb whatever pee she did um, then I was trying to put the straw uh, the other girls were running all over the place they wanted to get in but I just wanted Gaia to stop worrying about her baby so I was going in and out of the pen the goats were escaping it was crazy 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 but in the end I had to bring her inside because her temperature was low she wasn't chewing the cud now you can see she started chewing the cud this morning it's alright I got you those, those dogs are outside. I got you. I got you. It's alright. She's a little bit more calm now. So she's chewing the cod. And her temperature went up. We put her inside by the heater. Uh, nothing other than that. We didn't do anything crazy because her temperature came right back up. Uh, she It's alright, babies. It's alright. Gaia? 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 Gaia. It's okay. It's okay. You're... You're a good girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're a good girl. I got you. I got you. Okay? Her pupils were very dilated. Um, and she was in some pain. You could see like she was grinding her teeth and she was in pain. I slept on the couch with Hope right across. I covered her uh, pen with blankets because <laughs> there's a little cute boy here biting my, my sweater. Hi, little boy. 
but she hasn't been eating so she's not of the out of the woods yet she's not eating she started nibbling on the hay but she doesn't really want to eat I gave her grain she's not eating so which leads me to my next point that I'm gonna take her to the barn because I think that being in here being a new mom in a new space for her in particular is too stressful if I bring Clara today and I put her there Clara will live her best life will eat will drink will will be happy in there but Gaia right now she's too stressed in a new environment this is what I'm realizing so even though it was good to bring her in last night to keep an eye on her and make sure she started chewing the cud and keeping those babies fed she hasn't laid down since she had the skits and she is still stressed it you can tell her she is kind of like she'll look into one direction and you know you can see that her her eyes are kind of lost so she is not doing great you're, you're kind of going with me as i'm going through this so i don't have every answer right this second all i'm gonna say is i can hear her rumen it is working i can hear little little sounds but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take her outside i'm gonna clean her back end i'm gonna give her vitamin b inject some vitamin b in her and i'm gonna give her some probios to help her hopefully kind of uh, restart the rumen or you know kick in in a way that she can feel better um i'm gonna put the monitor on her and I'm gonna keep a close if she is not doing better then she's probably gonna have to go to the vet to be diagnosed with something um, at this point I think she's in shock and that bringing her bringing her in helped her temperature but her stress is very very high and right now she's not stressed because there's nobody but me here but the second that you know my husband gets in here and my other son gets in here the dog get in here she starts making some bucky sounds and i know that she's stressed so but you can see she's not doing great um and i am really scared that something's gonna happen i talked to my vet online uh the one that i can't get to physically to <gasps> oh she just lay down okay okay are we chilling now maybe that's a bad sign but she is breathing fine she's not really grasping for air or anything like that but um what i wanted to say is that i talked to my vet and she said that i should give her another 24 hours as long as she starts eating today so sending her to the barn is making sure that i keep her in an environment that she knows um she's gonna be closed in with her kids <sighs> i just worry that she is not gonna make it and not only because you know i love her she is my girl but also because of the babies um the babies do need her and if i'd had to feed them by myself I would have to probably use as a wrench because they won't take the bottle at this point I'm gonna try the bottle once again before I take them outside but I don't I am NOT being successful I've tried every trick the only last thing I need to try and I'm leaving it for last resort is a little bit of um, honey in the tip but at this point I don't know what else to do I really don't know what else to do my vet thinks that she will pull through that she will make it and that as a first-time mom this is just the stress of having a baby and that some goats jump right back up and some other ones take a little bit longer and that will mess with the rumen and the rumen is something that is very dangerous so so now you know Gaia's still in shock, but she's doing better. I had no sleep. I kept waking up, checking symptoms, texting. And um, I think the, I, I, I got the good side of things because I'm not going through 
it as she is going. But I'm just terrified for her kids. Close your so I know eyes. Sleeping, though. I almost want to leave her here Get some rest. while she sleeps. Because I was going to take her back to the barn. By your She'll be side. Sleeping. Your head on my chest. 